Hey, how is it going? So in this video, I want to talk about some interesting Ford related news. Um, this has been covered a few times already by other YouTubers. I'm a little late to the game here, but I still want to talk about it because I think uh, I have an interesting take on what this product could be used for. Now, this is basically surrounding this uh, Ford electric motor crate engine, right? So they're gonna be calling it the Illuminator, E-Illuminator, not Illuminator, E-Illuminator. I, I see what they did there, it's, uh, eh. It's actually a really cool product. And uh, you know, I wanna talk more about it and why I think this is actually something really cool coming from Ford. <music> Okay, so it's no surprise if you've been watching me then I'm not a huge fan of EV vehicles. And it's not that I don't like them, I just am upset about the uh, the future that's going to be just EV vehicles. Not something I'm particularly happy about being a petrol head myself, but I do think electrification has its place in the automotive industry, but in one specific form, and that's a mild hybrid system. And that's why I want to talk about why I think this new uh, Illuminator crate motor, uh, electric crate motor from Ford is actually really cool and what really this could be used for. Um, and I know its specific design is to be used for a direct replacement in, in the place of a gas engine, um, but I think it has so much more purpose than that. And I really wish this is something the aftermarket industry and even manufacturers like Ford developing parts like this that can be retrofitted in the vehicles, I think it has even a bigger place if done correctly. So let's talk about that. So this whole Illuminator uh, <laughs> crate motor here is supposed to be revealed, um, you know, officially at SEMA this year, which is gonna take place in um, November. It's the beginning of November. So we, uh, you know, we have a few months before we really understand exactly what it's all about you know chevrolet has their own version of this apparently as a crate offering um, you get a little battery pack the engine it's a whole kit plug and play call it a day great as much as i hate to admit it see where a product like this could actually you know just be useful in its own without any additional modification or um just, you know just as simple as taking a old tired gas engine out and replacing it with a uh, you know electric motor and a battery pack and, you know I definitely see where that could come into play you know maybe an old classic where the engine really isn't the star of the show you know what I'm saying um, there are a lot of cars you know people you know big thing now is the 70s early 70s you know land yacht Cadillacs and Lincoln's and stuff um, you know instead of having a big torquey gas hog 460 that most people never do anything with anyway. They just kind of leave them be, um, you know, and if they restore them, they just try to make them quiet as possible anyway. So it's kind of stupid to have that big of an engine if you're not really gonna show it off or do anything to it. So it makes sense, and maybe in a car like that, you just put a really torquey electric man and motor. It, you know, why not, right? So I see where that makes sense, but this is where I really think something like this could shine. Um, and this is this is really what I wish the aftermarket would start focusing on. Um, and I think this would, if they can make a product that's you know priced competitively enough, I think it would be a very viable option for people who want extra power, but also gain extra efficiency of their classic vehicle or modern vehicle, depending on you know how old it is. But yeah, it could be done in anything. So this is what I'm thinking. Something like this engine, I think, would be exceptionally cool if it can be put in place as a mild hybrid system combined with an existing gas engine. You get the best of both worlds. Something like this would be awesome. The problem with this particular design is because it is a whole engine within itself, it is designed to be, you know, put to a drive shaft or something. So. If you were to use this in an all-wheel drive system, you know, let's say you have a gas engine powering the rear wheels, well then the only way this would be able to power the front wheels is through a differential and uh, so forth. And I think that would be awesome to be able to have the best of both worlds, have 
the instant torque of electric have the short spurts of just full EV you know if you want to move something around without making noise sometimes I even wish I could do that but honestly having Beth of both worlds is that is that is the pinnacle of automotive performance and technology being able to just have that instant torque instant um, takeoff of the electric motors but being backed and pushed once power kicks in by a loud obnoxious gas engine that's what I would love to see now furthermore um, something like this even you know like, like the uh, SHO I had wouldn't it be cool if you they could you know since the SHO is a front-wheel drive bias system you know the rear wheels don't even get that much power wouldn't it be cool if they were able to someone was able to retrofit a, a motor like this in the vehicle uh, somehow I don't know how but it was somehow and be able to drive the rear wheels while the uh, engines just responsible for the front you know that would be awesome and uh, it's it's a shame that there's really no products like that on the market um, the better way of doing this is having electric motors you know some of the cars they have the motors in like the hub it drives the wheel itself it's its own individual motor I think that's the better way of doing it uh, this is very much designed just to be replacement in the space to occupy the space as a gas engine I think it's literally I'm pretty sure the way it's designed is the engine and the battery pack it's all in one unit right it is a direct in place there it is and um, you know that's what it is you would have to have a more modular system I guess um, to be able to utilize parts in in a wheel per wheel configuration right but just imagine having um, that kind of capability I really wish the aftermarket would focus on this because think about it there are massive performance gains that can be had you know with the you know when you add something like these electric systems to an existing car some of the fastest accelerating cars in the world some of, I mean they're just the fastest cars period are mild hybrid cars they have both a gas engine and electric motors usually the gas engine is on the rear wheels electric motors on the front wheel so you have essentially a all-wheel drive system when needed but it could technically still be a rear wheel drive if the, you know it could be decoupled it is such a better technology i think if the aftermarket were to focus on offering um, mild hybrid electric systems that can be put into any car much like a supercharger you know they they develop all these superchargers and i'm not saying you know that a supercharger is bad but you can get the same benefit of of a supercharger with a mild hybrid system just imagine you know you want you get 200 horsepower from a, a supercharger but then you got to go through all the things to make the engine work with it and then tune it and that's great but you still don't get extra traction but what if you were to spend that same amount of money usually supercharger systems are like five thousand dollars on a mild hybrid system where you get a battery pack you get your hookups your control you know your control pan or um, module and uh, you know electric motors that can be retrofitted into the drive each wheel what if you were able to do that you know if you had a rear wheel drive car put them on the front wheels you're not messing with the power at all of your existing gas engine but you're adding let's say 200 300 horsepower to your vehicle total and you have an extra 300 horsepower driving the front wheels in addition to whatever you had the back wheels and then all you have to do is you know play with the tune the the vehicle as a whole to get the you know to sync where the mod hybrid system works best with the existing gas engine and I think that would be a win you know maybe you get a little bit of uh, you know depending on the battery pack size you get a little bit of range you know so if you just want to cruise around or maybe just move out of the neighborhood you know um, before you start up the gas engine you have that ability you have the um, the benefit of all-wheel drive so traction or you know taking off would be much better um, also I mean just cruising you would if if done right can save so much gas you know like just because we have big gas engines doesn't mean you know I love my big gas guzzling engines but wouldn't it be nice to be able to like get more power and save that gas save money on gas yes that would be great 
So that's where I think this technology really shines. And I'm kind of happy Ford is doing this and you see Chevy doing it. Now we need to see if the aftermarket really takes this, this technology and really brings it forth to a mass appeal where people can put these kind of systems in any car. Now I'm not, like I said, what I'm, con what I'm talking about is a mild hydro system utilizing components like this. It would have to be probably advertised as such and not a strictly, you know, EV direct replacement of a gas engine. But needless to say, I still think this is cool technology. I still think it's worth talking about because I think this is a real awesome way to, uh, you know, get more power out of your car, but remain efficient, you know? Why can't we have best of both worlds? We can, so why not do it? But that will be it for this video. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next true car enthusiast video.